Elle a reçu l'injection létale pour avoir tué sept de ses clients alors qu'elle travaillait comme escorte. Mais Aileen Wuornos avait toujours nié les accusations jusqu'à cette interview peu avant sa mort où elle a décidé de dire la vérité. Nick, the reason I'm, I'm come forth with you with this interview is because I like to come clean about my cases and because there's only about 1% chance that a person can get off death row. And I come to realize that that is actually true. Very, very true. Okay, I cannot go in the execution chamber and die in the execution chamber as a liar. And I cannot go in the execution chamber and be executed under the devil. I have to come clean and clean, cleanse my spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, so I have to come clean and tell the world the lies that went on through my mouth. I mean, the, now prosecutors and well, cops. And that you, and that you killed the seven men. Huh? That you killed those men in cold blood. Yeah, I got to come clean that I killed those seven men in first degree murder and robbery. As they said, they had it right. It's serial killer. Not so much like thrill kill. I was into the robin biz. I mean, You know, serial killers are in this thrill killing jazz. I was into the robbing, just and eliminate a witness. Pendant les dernières étapes de la procédure d'appel, Wornos était de plus en plus découragée par sa défense. Elle savait que tout était perdu et a donc décidé d'arrêter de faire taire ses pensées. But when you're saying that um, there was no self-defense, so there was no self-defense. No, there was no self-defense. Uh, I'm being really straight up about everything. There's no self-defense. I'm really sorry what happened about everything. I, I was in, in this, this, to me, this world is nothing but evil, and all of us are full of evil one way or another in whatever we do. We have evil in us, all of us do, and my evil would just happen to come out because of the circumstances of what I was doing. Hitchhiking, hooking, on the road. I was a homeless person all my life. And then the hitchhiking, hooking, I learned off the homelessness and, and cruising all over the United States of America and stuff. And so learning how to be a hooker as a hitchhiker eventually got tiring in the end. I carried the gun for protection, but then I got Where I was getting a real problem. À ce jour, personne ne sait pourquoi Aileen a admis son crime. À partir de ce moment-là, tout était plus incertain. They've been trying to tell the truth, and I keep getting it stepped on. Concerned about if I was raped, if I... I'm not giving you my book and movie info. I'm giving you info for investigations and stuff, and that's it. We're going to have to cut this interview, Nick. I'm not going to go into any more detail. I'm leaving. I'm glad. Thanks a lot, society, for railroading my ass. Okay, let's go. Nick Broomfield, le cinéaste derrière l'interview, a parlé avec Dawn Bodkins, une amie de Warnos, qui lui a expliqué pourquoi Eileen avait réagi de la sorte. Sorry, Nick, that she she didn't give you the finger. She gave the media the finger and then the attorneys the finger. She didn't give you the uh, finger. And she knew if she said much more that it could make, it, make a difference on her execution tomorrow, so she just decided not to. 